your behalf to manipulate your different assets that you have within your subscription. Then what you can do is you can actually go and just reset this back. You can go and import that using this Azure account import command. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it now, but just so you see how to connect it. So now I'm ready to start creating website. So I can say Azure site create, and I'll call it Sencha Express. And when we deploy to Windows Azure websites, we support several different models of deployment, and one of those is Git. So you can create your website, you can enable a Git endpoint that will allow you to just very easily use Git to push your source, and then it goes out to the cloud. Is anyone here not familiar with Git or not heard of it? Good. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that, and Windows Azure is distributed throughout the world. We have like eight or nine data centers and the number is growing. Uh, we've actually just announced that we're gonna be having data centers, uh, that we have data centers that are coming online in mainland China, which is a big thing. Um, so when I go to create my site, it's actually gonna prompt me for the location where I want to deploy. I can actually pass that as a parameter as well, but I'll just show it to you so you can see it. So you can see these are all the regions that I can deploy to, and we're located in sunny Orlando, which is East US, so I'm going to deploy to East US. Now this part of the process is not actually deploying. It is creating for me a website, which I will then be able to deploy to. So you can see it's creating my website now, that's now done, and when it did that, it 